this video looks at the best Sankaku triangle techniques in Judo over the past couple of months. And we're going to start with Pereira of Brazil. So Pereira had no trouble locking on the triangle, but getting the pin itself was another story in this one. First she had to deal with the ability of the girl in blue to maintain her hips flat down against the mat whilst her upper body was twisted. Then she finally got the turn and the girl in blue was able to bridge straight over the top. So no Saikomi was called. But Pereira wasn't done. She flattened out the legs. She was able to get the turn once more. But once again, Abdi Rova showed her acrobatics and flipped right over and Mate was called. But Pereira was not done and she followed it up a short time later in the match and was able to get the Sankaku and a turn. So we see her here got the Sankaku locked on. Looks like she's able to flatten out the back leg and then rotate her opponent onto her back. And in this instance, she doesn't put her opponent all the way onto her back until she's secured control of the far leg. So she's unable to bridge and escape like she did earlier. Pereira was added again in this one here and this is my favorite turnover of the video but she's able to get the Sankaku turn and roll as her opponent is trying to recover to her feet and then she secures the hold down for the victory. So in this video I'm going to play all of the pins in full. I know some people don't like to watch the whole pin but some people do so you can always skim through the videos. I always have a full chapter list for my videos so you can see where the next technique starts. Next we have Chelsea Giles. So Giles was amazing at the Portugal Grand Prix. I'm going to include some of her other pin wins right at the end of this video. But here is Chelsea Giles Sankaku Gatame win. So it's the Daria Blooded style Sankaku. able to get the turn and then uses her head under the leg to shut down the opponent's ability to bridge by pulling the foot towards her own body, pulling her opponent's left foot away from the mat so she's unable to make a strong bridge. Still the girl from Uzbekistan made a really good fight out of it. More from Chelsea later and you can let me know whether you think the clip I'll show later is Udegarami or a pin. Nice Sayonage by Van Lysout of the Netherlands. I think she's a two time junior world champion and she wins a lot of matches in Newaza. She's especially good at Juji Gatame, but in this one it was a unique Sankaku Gatame turnover. She locked the triangle on. And then instead of trying to go for the turn, she went for Udegarami and it took her quite a while to get the turn. Her opponent seems to have pretty flexible arm and was able to withstand the Udegatame pressure. But eventually the pressure was too much and the girl in blue had to roll over and concede the Osai Komi Ippon in order to preserve her arm. So this one was from the World Masters. We've got one from Lien Chen Ling's World Masters run coming up later on. But this one is Sankaku Jime, a strangle. And it's a particularly tight finish by Jiang of Korea. It just surprises me how tight this one got, because right now doesn't really look like 
it's that tight of a lock. By the time she has it turned, it looks like an extremely tight choke. But she's adjusting there, moving her hips closer to her opponent's head. You can see how close her hips are to her opponent's body. There's no space inside that triangle and pretty quick submission. Now we're going to see an opponent with her head bounced off the tatami and directly into the sankaku. I'm sure the headache she got from the head landing on the tatami didn't do her any favors when it came to defending this one. But it took a while for the girl in white to take those legs out. But once she got her flat, she was able to turn her over, secure the leg, and complete the hold down. So this weekend, the Tel Aviv Grand Slam is taking place, and one of the top Sankeku Jime practitioners in judo, Mami Umeki, is competing at this event. So I'm really looking forward to that one. There's some pretty good competitors in the women's 78 kilo class. Now, this is an interesting one. There was a disqualification. Did you spot the illegal action? So, Amber Riul of Belgium takes a particularly strong Sankaku Gatame pin. There's certainly no escaping this one. And although she holds it for the full 20 seconds, she doesn't walk away the winner of this one. And we'll have a look at just why she was disqualified. A few of you might have guessed already. So there's the hold down. Ippon's called, but then the referee disqualifies her for Kawazu Gake. And Blue gets the win. So Kawazu Gake is attacking the other leg when an opponent is attempting a throw. Now here's Lien Chen Ling, very nice Uchimata combination. She's so quick transitioning from the throw to the Sankaku. So Lien Chen Ling is based in Japan. She did her university course in Japan and of course studied judo at the same time has become the top player from Taiwan in judo for a number of years though I guess in uh, the men's 60 kilo class they do have a particularly strong Taiwanese judoka I can't remember his name but he's also very good at triangle Now here's more of Chelsea Giles, so her Newaza performance and Tachiwaza performance was outstanding at the Portugal Grand Prix. In that case, she wasn't able to follow up the Koshi Garuma with an immediate Ippon on the ground, but straight after that, she was able to get the Ippon. She took an Udegarami, swept her opponent to her back. The referee called Osai Komi, but there was a pretty quick submission, so you can let me know what you think. Is this Udegarami or just Tate Shihogatame? She still has the Udegarami she used to sweep her opponent to the ground. And her opponent, after about five seconds of being under Osai Komi, had had enough and submitted. And here's another clip of Chelsea Giles. Nice Uchimata directly into Kesagatame and there's a submission. 